Hey guys, I want to go into part five of my little dashboard demo that I'm doing. This one is going to be a little bit different because in the past I've been talking about the dashboard, how I built it. This one is one of the extensions that really goes into where I think we should be going in terms of project controls and our project management, and that's Agile and using Jura. So let's just dive into our dashboard. And we've seen this on our prior videos. It's just our progress curve. And we also have some of our other tabs of major milestones, activities, some detailed progress. We have a detail page where you can go into some details in some of our WBSs in the Agile world. These are called epics. So we can actually click one, 1500. I've done an example here. And there's an activity I've loaded in. Well, Activity 50, which says some concrete activity on some wall footings. But you'll notice now, I've got something in here called a Jira link. This is the power of dashboards. Right now, when we look at dashboards, you can't do anything with it. There's no edit an activity. There's nothing to update. There's no communication. You can pull this into a management meeting, have it up on a wall, and discuss it in that environment. But if you really want to dive into something and have it embedded in your 24-7 business environment, you need something more, and that is Jura. So for this activity, we've got a baseline finish the 12th of February. So we've got a current forecast finish, at least from our data source, which in here would be a primavera schedule. It's at 7th of April, 50% complete, 864 hours. Got some float or some uh, variants. This is actually slipped from at least the prior week for when this dummy data was generated. But let's go into the link and see what happens because this is where all the power is at. So we're just dump, jump into Jura and we can see that we have a task and it's sitting under our Epic of 1500 and it's exactly the same thing as what it looks like in our dashboard, it'd be the same activity that'd be sitting in Primavera, but now you've got so much more. You can actually do little screen prints of some layout drawings. You can have some information related to your schedule ID, your activity description, start date, due date. This case, you'll notice this actually says May 23rd, which is a little bit different from what it said in Primavera. That leads to some discussion so the person updating the dashboard would see that activity, click the link, go in here, and maybe the site superintendent would be opening this and say, well, you know, why? Well, that's where you get to some discussion. And this is really the power of Jura because now you're looking at an actual picture of the job site. You're actually seeing comments of when something happened written by somebody. And if you want to go ask that person a question, then you could actually send them a note with inside Jura, tag them, and they'll see it. And here it goes. Someone actually entered this. At, oh, finish looks to be 23rd of May. So someone actually, well, it was me, but they put in a comment. They went and edited their main attribute. So when we go look at our schedule or the planner that's updating the schedule, they would actually not have to go talk to this person. They wouldn't have to even know what's going on at all. They could just put May 23rd from the information that's in here. And it's audible because the person would actually put a note with their name, with their date, and you should have pretty good visibility of what's going on. If you do need to call somebody, say, hey, you know, why is this now a month late? Well, they probably give you some other information or they could write into a comment. And this is really where you're now embedding your agile management into your progress schedule in a whole, the whole integration of your project. You can also have linked issues. This is the same thing as doing a link inside Primavera. Here, you're just saying that, well, before I do any of my drainage pipe, which is another activity, activity 53, we want to finish this. So maybe that has some interface. And again, you can capture that as well. There's actually some Gantt charts you can do within Jira. I don't know if I entirely recommend those because I think you should have a schedule and your, your Gantt CPM information should be within your schedule. However, not very many people open schedules, edit schedules, or know where the information is coming from. And that's what Jura can do. 
So hopefully everybody's getting an idea of how I view project controls and where I think we should be going. Um, there's probably going to be a couple more of these, so definitely subscribe to the channel. If you like the dashboard, you like these idea of doing Jira links, the concepts of integrations, where you're now pulling in a, a schedule, you're pulling in Jira. Yeah, there's lots of ways to do it. And hopefully those will be things I talk about. So again, thanks a lot and hope you enjoyed this video and I should do a couple more. Thanks guys.